Welcome to an impossible turn video. In the aviation world, the impossible turn is the name of the act of returning to the departure runway if an engine problem were to occur shortly after takeoff. My goal is to take off and return to the runway that is 3,000 feet long from an engine failure at 400 feet above the ground. For reference, I've marked up this image to show the portion of the runway that I'm using. The two highlighted taxiways are 3,000 feet apart, so this works nicely for testing. My RV4 is powered by a 160 horsepower Lycoming 0320. On this day, density altitude was 5,500 feet. The wind was calm and the aircraft was lightly loaded. Several factors are very important, such as climb speed, bank angle, wind speed, and direction. I found that climbing at 80 knots indicated airspeed and 45 degree bank works well for a light loaded RV4. I always make the turn into the wind. I am certain that all of this will vary between aircraft types, which is why it is impossible to give one number that always works. Maybe that is where the name came from. I've been working on this for several months with many dozens of tests at altitude and many dozens more at various airports. Please don't go try this yourself without thoroughly knowing your aircraft and carefully working up to it. I found that starting the turn at altitudes of 500 feet and higher result in overrunning the end of the runway, so adjustments are necessary if something were to happen above 400 feet. As you can see, there is nothing dangerous or crazy about this turn, and it can be safely executed in this RV4 from 400 feet AGL under these conditions. Of course, this number varies as those conditions change. If you do your own testing, you will find that wind from various angles has some interesting effects. As always, know your airplane and mitigate your risk. Thanks for watching.